So here is our end product, our flower that we're gonna be making. And you should have picked up a kit uh, with all the supplies that you need to make this. There was one extra thing that I did ask you to provide and that was just some kind of object that's kind of round like a marker or pen. And that's because we'll be folding up these edges. You could realistically also use the glue stick, but it's something a little smaller works a little better. So to get started, you can, there's actually enough to make two flowers in your kits. You can decide what colors you want to go where. I got mine this way. So you can mix and match the flowers that you were given. And we'll start with the biggest size that we have here. And we'll actually take and roll it to give it a little bit of a shape. And we do that for all four petals. So it'll end up looking, looking like that. It just is slightly curled. And you do that for each size up. You should have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces to each flower. And this project is pretty easy. Um, I can also kind of show you the software that I used to cut this out with. So we use the Silhouette, which is our paper and other material cutter. So it cuts out vinyl, it cuts out really thin leather. Um, it can do fabric, but you have to do like a special spray on it. So it kind of leaves it still weirdly stiff even after washing it. It does not cut out felt. There are newer ones that can handle that kind of thing. We just have the Cameo 3 at this point. And if you ever wanna cut anything out on the Ellison, you can contact me. Uh, you should have email information and my extension number on your paperwork that was in with your kit. We do have some scrap materials that you can just use if there's just um, a small project you have or you don't care what colors your project are. But if you have anything specific in mind, we do ask you bring your own materials so that you can complete your project. And if you have any questions on what kind of materials you'll need or what kind of supplies you need for a project you have in mind, feel free to contact me and I can help you out. So once, I'm actually kind of curling these ones just with my hands because I want these ones to curl a little more. So I guess you don't really need the marker to help you roll it up, but it kind of makes it a little more uniform. So now that I have all of these curled up, we're gonna start gluing. So you should have a glue stick in your kit and we'll just put a little glue right here in the middle. So what you'll actually do is, I already glued this one, but you start with the biggest one, you move on to the next one. And then you just keep stacking them till you get to the smallest one.
Okay. So once you get all those stacked, we're going to do the middle part of the flower. Looks like that. Which some of these are a little incomplete. Um, card stock would be better to cut out. I just had black construction paper, but flowers in real life aren't completely perfect, so I just went with these. Uh, because of the way that construction paper is made, that it's kind of fragmented pieces just stuck together, it doesn't always cut the best. It sometimes catches and pulls away from the other parts of it and just tears. So you'll want to figure out which one's the smaller and which one's the bigger of the two you have. And we're just going to stack those also. And I might line them up so that you have coverage of the lines that stick out. And then you just want to push those in with your fingers towards the middle. Oh, and mine didn't stay glued. Let me try that again. And now I'll push them in. So then you just take these. They would be the stamens of the flower. And glue right there in that middle. Right here. And then stick that right there. You might have to push them back up after you push it down. So our flower is almost done already. So the last step is just to glue these leaves to the back of it. And we have patterns of a lot of other flowers. Um, and some of those flowers can be quite tricky to put together. We can also make very large flowers. You can take and size this up or down depending on what you want to do. Um, I did flowers kind of like these for my wedding, which I cut out of book pages from my old Anna Green Gables book, from an old map, from comic books. So you can make a lot of fun uh, paper flowers. So does anyone have any questions about the silhouette or things that you can make with it? No, no questions. Let me pull up the Silhouette software. And we have a whole library of things that we can use to cut out things, make things that you print out and then cut all kinds of things. But right here is actually the file that I used to cut out this project. And Give it a second, it has to think about it. We actually, like I was saying, you can make it big. I once helped someone make some very large flowers for their graduation party, and they, they turned out really cool. They used glitter cardstock and they used their school colors. Um, and then let me go in the library and show you one of the more complicated flowers we have. I'd say that one is a little more complicated. So we've got this one. It's kind of the same idea, just got different kind of leaves. And then we also had a delphinium flower. And this one, when I cut this one out to just try it out, that one took me 
probably 45 minutes to do just the assembling cutting it out took even more time than that so there's just a ton of little tiny flowers and it we have the link to how to um, make it but the person that created this file also had a tutorial for it but as you can see little tiny flowers some of them are buds so you can get really intricate with your paper flowers. And you can use them to decorate, put them on a table, stick them on a wall. They're a very fun thing. So if anyone wants to have more flowers cut out, um, you can just contact me and we can set up a time to get that done. Um, or if there's any other projects, like I was saying, that you want to do, we can work that out. Um, so I'm going to let you guys go and then enjoy the rest of your night or work on more crafts and thanks for joining. Thanks.